For the political crowd, it's known as the place to be seen. And for everybody else looking to get a great New Mexican breakfast, they also head to the same place. We're talking about Morales Coffee House in Albuquerque, South Valley. They're also number six on the things to do in Albuquerque before you die list. That's where we find News 13's David Romero. Good morning, David. Don't you guys wish you were me once again? Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, everybody. Barella's Coffee House is the place to be, whether it's a Saturday or any time during the week. If it's, you're coming here on a Saturday, you know it's good because you can see the big crowds that they attract on a weekly basis. Mr. Michael Gonzalez is joining us this morning. He is the owner. Over here we have Jerry Lucero. She's the manager right off the bat. Michael, this is such a hopping spot during the week, and it's, of course, of course made the list for the 100 things to do in Albuquerque before you die. What makes it so good? Uh, I think consistency, and we um, we have the our New Mexican dishes are authentic. They're they're uh, recipes that our grandmother uh, gave us years ago, and we've stuck to them, and we've just been consistent. And we have good service and reasonable prices. We're gonna have Gabe give you a look around here, and you can see it's gonna be filling up here shortly. They open the doors now at 7:30. Uh, but those classic uh, New Mexican down-home meals, uh, what is it that you guys put into it that makes it so good? They're, it's actually very simple ingredients. They're just real basic. We don't we don't do anything crazy with any of the recipes, and, uh, and we've kept them the same all these years. We've never never changed anything much. <laughs> And how about for you, Jerry? When, when you come here and, and you see like the, the, the crowds that, that Barela's draws and the popularity, what do you think? Oh, I love it. I love coming and seeing all the our regular customers. We have people that come certain days um, every week. So we're really pleased with, uh, with the clientele that come here, and I love all of them. And we, we mentioned right off the top, I mean, this is like one of the big spots for like a lot a big political crowd to come and, and, and kind of make it their home and, and get in touch with folks. What makes it like that so? I think the homey atmosphere, you know, it, it just a lot of people when they come here, they say it's like going to their grandmother's home or, you know, they just it's not like a chain restaurant where you're going to see a certain atmosphere here. It's like like coming coming home, you know, and, and uh, we. Uh, We've kept it like that all these years. Awesome. And as always, uh, we always talk about supporting locals. So if you have that bucket list of 100 things to do in Albuquerque before you die, make sure you come to Barela's Coffee House and you can scratch off number six and get a mean plate of huevos rancheros while you're at it. Back to you guys. Oh, that sounds delicious. Uh, I know. Every morning has food. Thanks, David. If you're planning on stopping by Barella's for breakfast on a Saturday morning, make sure to give yourself plenty of time to get there because it does fill up fast. To get another in-depth look at what makes Barella's such a special place, you can find a link with that information on our website, krqe.com.